Hi guys and gals, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to learn how to set the angle of our table saw blade to exactly 90 degrees. I just recently got this table saw and as part of learning how to use it, I'm learning how to align everything properly. To adjust the angle of the saw blade, we just twist this to release it. And then we can turn this wheel to adjust the angle. Uh, I can't go too far because I have a pretty thin opening on my um, slot up there. So if we set it to the 90 degrees down here, let's see how we're actually doing up here. So now taking a look at the saw blade, I can see that when I have the square up to it, I'm touching at the top and there's a little gap right down at the bottom. And then I can see on the other side, touching at the bottom, but there is a significant gap towards the top. Let's see if we can measure. I got these little feeler gauges. And let's see, let's try 10 thousandths here. So maybe about ten thousandths, which is not too bad. But the problem is that is really as far as I can turn it to try to get it to 90 degrees here. Just turning it as far as I can and locking it down as tight as I can here. And there's still that little gap. It's kind of awkward to get it through there with the blades, but yeah, it'll get through there. It's touching on the bottom and then about a ten thousandths gap at the top. So what I'm going to have to do, because the normal adjustment will not get it all the way to 90, I'm going to have to see if I can adjust the stop underneath the saw if there is a stop. Looking in the back of the saw, I do not see something that is easy to adjust when the saw is all put together. So I think what I'm going to have to do is take the top off. And actually, that's, there's only just four bolts holding it together. And one nice thing about the saw is when you take everything, if you take the top section off the table, you're not affecting the alignment of any other Parts. So, um, all right, we'll get at her. So after getting stymied and trying to take the top of the table off, uh, I see that there actually are a couple little stops in here, one for 45 and this one is the 90 one. It's just a little bolt, so I should be able to get a nut driver in there and bring it up a little bit. So then that should give clearance for this trunnion here this part of the trunnion to get a little bit further and then I should be able to get all the way to 90 degrees. I guess rather than having this set exactly at 90 degrees, I would rather have it set a little bit more than 90 degrees and then I can just lock it down um, exactly where I want it rather than relying on this thing to give me 90 degrees. So every time you adjust it, I think it makes more sense to use a square and make sure that it's actually at 90 degrees rather than relying on like these stops or just looking at the indicator. Um, those, I, I would not trust those, especially on a saw like this that's really old and not probably made to the most exacting standards. Okay, with that stop adjusted, now I can get it to slightly past 90 degrees. So here we go to 90 and it can go a little bit past as well. So this will allow us to dial it in exactly to 90 degrees. A little bit tricky to get it locked down right there. So 
yeah, you can see there's a little gap at the bottom here. Kind of have to compensate for the locking mechanism because the locking mechanism wants to pull the blade this way. So that means you have to start locking it when it's a little before 90 and then it'll pull it to 90. Uh, better, still a little gap at the bottom there. Okay, on this last time I finally got it dialed in pretty darn close. Really don't see, just barely see some light through there on that side. On the other side, no light at all, so you can spend a lot of time trying to get it exactly right. Um, but what I guess my opinion is spend a good amount of time getting it dialed in and then try not to change it for a while. So if I have to make some angled cuts, probably what I'm going to do is build a sled so then I don't have to adjust this and mess around with getting it back to 90 degrees all the time. We'll see, we'll see what happens. It really doesn't take, you know, it just takes a couple minutes, but if you're, it, that couple minutes does slow you down when you're working, so something to think about. Um, one last thing to do before I wrap this up is do a test cut and see how square that cut is. Okay, let's see how square it is. Just get it right up to the edge. You can see that on this corner, there's a little bit, just a tiny bit hanging when it's even on this end. So it's a good thing I did this test cut. So I'll try it again, seeing if I can get it even closer. This piece is only a little less than an inch and a half wide. So if there's that much error over that amount of space, I don't know what it is, maybe a 64th or something, but I think I can do a little better. better. So try it again. Second try, Let's see how we did. That looks a lot better. Just right about up to the edge here. You can see there's a pretty even gap or overhang here, or underhang, this piece of it right there. Pretty even all the way across. So that's good enough for me. Um, only took a couple minutes more. And as I do this, I'll get better at it because I'll learn how to compensate for uh, how much it's going to twist when I lock it down. So that's just something that will come with experience. So getting the blade angle right is not something that's very difficult, but the more exacting you want to be, the harder it's going to be. Um, and it's definitely one of those things where you can drive yourself crazy trying to get it just right. Um, my goal is to get it close enough for the work that I'm going to be doing, and that means it doesn't have to be perfect, and you're never going to get it perfect. So. Overall, not too hard, and uh, this is my first time doing it, so if I can do it, you guys can do it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Take care.